come back on after a few months to give you an update on my breast reduction. I know I said I would come on with a three month update and a six month update. Yeah, girl, that, that didn't happen. So this would be a nine month update. Um, those of you who don't know, I had a breast reduction in May of last year. And now that we're in January, they will make nine months. So what I'm gonna do is just briefly go over um, how I was approved and I will be linking in the cards below uh, several videos because I do have videos of the week when I had my breast reduction, the recovery, and also how I got approved. But I'm just gonna give you a Cliff Notes version right now. Um, if you don't know, it's really hard to get approved for breast reduction. And it used to be 10, 15 years ago, as long as you were having back pain and a doctor said that, you know, approved you, you went to a surgeon, boom. That was 10 or 15 years ago. Now insurance companies do not want to pay to shut all that money unless you absolutely need it. You have gone through physical therapy, you have gone through a chiropractor, you have tried um, pain medication and you, you have no relief. So for me, it was two years of uh, gathering documentation and finally approaching um, my insurance company, which I purposely switched over from um, United Healthcare to Cigna and seeing multiple specialists getting, I mean, I literally have 40 pages of documentation. So I made an appointment with my family doctor and let her know. Um, and so I was documented as being on a second set of painkillers for three, four, five months. Does that make sense? Okay. The chiropractor wrote a letter of recommendation along with the doctor notes from my family practitioner. So yes, that was submitted and the insurance covered it. But of course you're gonna have uh, you know, your copay. So I would think at this point, the surgery was a little over $20,000. Um, and then I received a bill from the anesthesiologist that was like $80, which is nothing. But then the hospital bill was $1,100 and my bill from the surgeon was around $400. So we're looking at $1,500 I had to pay out of pocket. So do expect that. So yeah, you get, depending on your insurance, you still are gonna have to pay something out of pocket. It's just not gonna be 100% free. Um, my recovery was has been pleasant. Um, the only, I, I'm gonna explain to you what I've been having, but the week of, it was good. Um, the only thing that did happen is that when I tried to lift up the dressing on my nipple, it was kind of lifting, and it was due to the type of gauze that was used. And the uh, surgeon that was on call just advised me to use water, uh, slowly lift it up, and that was fine. It was perfect, okay? I did have swelling for a while, and honestly, I still, they still get a little swollen. Um, if I've been doing a lot the day before, like I was doing a lot yesterday, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I could tell they were swollen. They didn't hurt, but I could tell that they were swollen. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't tell y'all what size I was. I went from a 38 triple D, sometimes a double E, and right now I can say I am a full, full C, possibly D, 38. 38 CD, and I'm very happy with my results. About two months ago, my breasts dropped because for the first months, not months or so, they were up perky. I didn't mind that, but they were up perky and hard like I had breast implants, and that's why I didn't want that. But now they're soft and they, they've dropped, I should say. Um, they look great. My shirts are all baggy. I normally would have to get a size large or sometimes extra large, but now I'm definitely in a medium medium top. I also had to have lipo on the side here because my breasts were so wide, they kind of went into my armpit. So I did have a little bit of lipo, which I did not mind at all. And so my top here, see if I can show you a little bit. Do you see that? Well, you probably can't. Yeah, now you can see that. See how it goes in? I mean, I always had a little curve, but it really goes in a lot more now that I've had a little light bulb. I yeah, I'm very happy with my results. So let me tell you guys, a will share with you a little bit more when it comes to scarring and the complications I have had. Um, I would say about, what was it, May, June, July? About the end of July, early August, I noticed my skin was very dry. Now I live in Arizona and it's dry and I expected some dryness and some itching, but it got, I mean, the itching was ridiculous. 
Um, and I have read that you can experience some itching due to, you know, um, the nerves repairing and all that and this, you know, the skin itself. So I expected that. Um, and I had my creams and lotions and everything ready to go, but the itching got so bad to where I started getting discoloration. I mean, my breasts started to turn like a purple color, but only from the nipple under. Okay. And I'm just like, what is going on? Itch, itch, itching. I'm using everything. I mean, I literally use everything from coconut oil, shea butter, my own DIY eczema cream, tea tree oil, nothing seemed to help. And I, I will say this, that it will get better than it would get worse. So it would go back and forth. So I'm thinking this entire time that this is just the Norman healing process. Well, I would say about a month ago, I finally decided to go back to the surgeon and I had them to check it out. And they said, oh, this is extremely dry skin and you need to go see a dermatologist. So now two weeks ago, I went to a, der a dermatologist. She took a look at it and she said, you know what? This is more than just eczema and dry skin. It looks like you're having a reaction to the internal sutures. And I'm like, wow, okay. So I would definitely recommend that you, I, I should have went to a dermatologist earlier, okay? Um, so that they could have given me my medication and yeah. So I've been using, I'm gonna show you what I've been using. And this is prescribed for me because it's called Trimisoline. They gave me a big tub of it, a huge tub of this. Cause normally it comes in a 30, like a little bitty tub, like it's like 30 ml. It's basically a steroid cream and I have to use it. I've used this daily, twice a day, only for a month. I get off of it for like a week or so and then I'll go back on because if you use it too much, it will thin out your skin. So that's what I had to do personally. And I would say after two weeks, the color is coming back. I mean, there's still some itching, but not as bad. Um, the coloring is definitely coming back and yeah, it's, it, it looks great. They look great, okay? That's the only issue that I have had. Now let me show you what I tried and what I still would suggest trying if you don't have the issue that I have with, you know, um, the sutures. So I purchased Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Dry Itchy Skin. Now this was working good. You know, it contains vitamin E, collagen, elastin. Yeah, it was doing really well. And what I did is I purchased vitamin E oil and started adding it to this. And I like it that you can spray it so you can spray it up underneath because I my incisions or the scar goes from here all the way under, okay? So I always lift it up, spray, 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 and that's it. Um, another thing that helps really well, and those of you who have small children with eczema or if you have eczema yourself, Vaseline. Vaseline worked miracles for my breasts when they were on fire. I would literally make sure that my breasts were wet, slather on Vaseline while I'm in a shower, right after the shower, I would slather on Vaseline and that really helped. Um, in addition to my steroid cream. One thing that I really feel like didn't work for me that everyone I saw would rave about, Moderma. Moderma, Moderma, which is a drying oil, very quick drying oil, very, very thin drying oil. Um, yeah, really didn't work that well for me, you guys, and I used it consistently. Um, I would rather buy this. You know, I purchased both of these through Amazon, okay? I would say about three months ago, I noticed that the scar under my left breast started to keloid. Now, I've had surgeries before. When I had my C-section, when I had um, cysts removed, I keloid. And I was expecting that, so I'm not surprised. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not surprised it happened. So when I went to go see the surgeon a month ago, she was like, oh yeah, you're starting to keloid. So she's like, I would recommend silicon gel strips. I said, I already got them, girl. So I purchased the Scar Out gel strips from Amazon and this is what they look like. They come like this, you open it up and you you will probably have to cut it and apply it under. Now, I have not been that good about applying these and wearing these, you guys, because they're not comfortable. And it says that it's self-adhesive, maybe because I'm, I'm fluffy, <laughs> chubby. Um, yeah, I they're not that great they're very sticky very flimsy but they don't stick well to your skin you know what i mean they get they catch onto everything else but your body so it did come with a tape an adhesive tape what i think i'm gonna do is and this is some of the surgical tape 
I had here. That's not even good enough. Um, I'm gonna have to purchase some other type of tape and try it again. Now you can reuse them and I think for these it says, it says each gel can last between two to four weeks and total treatment time two to four months. So this entire box, two to four months. You're supposed to see a change after a week. I couldn't even get through a week because it literally kept coming off. And I was afraid I would be walking in public and this thing falls out out of <laughs> my press. So I'm gonna have to um, get some proper tape so that I can apply them because that's what the the surgeon assistant, or excuse me, the surgeon was recommending that I try or that I use. Now, when I have had scars that have keloid, it goes away. It takes a very long time. Like for me personally, it takes a good year. But yeah. So yeah, that is it, you guys. I just wanted to give an update because I, I did say I will come back and let you know. Um, If you have any questions, jot them down below. I will say I've gotten comments or questions or you know, whatever. Um, from women who are afraid to have the surgery, they're afraid to go under. Let me tell you something. If you've had a baby, you can do this. Like, <laughs> out of all of my surgeries, and I've had this one would have would be my would have been my fourth. Well, it's my fourth. Um, this is this was the easiest one. Recovery was the easiest one. If you've had a C-section, that you can do three or four of these. Like seriously, that's how easy it was for me. Um, but I also had a great team. So make sure that you research your doctor, your surgeon, okay? I had a great surgeon. I mean, he was a man of God, or he is a man of God. We prayed together. That made me feel so comfortable because I am a Christian. That made me feel very, very comfortable. Comfortable. If that's not, not your thing, fine. Just find you someone who's good, okay? He doesn't have to be a Christian. Just find someone that you trust. All right, I'm serious. Find someone you trust. Um, and that was that will put your put you at ease okay ask questions don't go on google looking at all this stuff because everyone is different everyone reacts differently all right yeah that's what i would recommend but yeah everything has been great i wish i would have done this earlier <laughs> really like if you're waiting and don't wait girl i wish i would have done this sooner meaning like right after I had my child, because I did nurse them. Um, I will be I will be a little leery about that. If you have not had children and you're thinking about it, I don't think I would get it done. Only because my breasts change after I had my child, because I nursed them for two years, and so they got longer. Um, and as you get older also, your breasts change. So I'm okay at having had this done at 37 years old. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is it. Like I said, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, drop them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.